Temperatures in the 30s. It is wet. It is cold. And we're near the kickoff of this afternoon's 14th annual Peach Bowl game between the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Florida Gators. We'll be ready to tee it up in just a moment. West Virginia, no stranger to the Peach Bowl. They've been here three times. Their record is 2-1. and one. Florida for the first time ever. Ivory Curry, number 26, the deep man for the Florida Gators as Paul Woodside gets ready to kick it off. The referee is Vance Carlson, the umpire Charles Weems, the headlinesman Frank Ellis, the line judge Kent Howe, the field judge Tom Finken, and the back judge is Artie Falk. Here we go. New Year's Eve bowl action from Atlanta, Fulton County Stadium. The kick is high and it is short. It's coming down to Scott Marshall and Marshall, the short man, Goes out of bounds on the far side. I'm play quarterback from Lakin, Florida. Steve Miller, tailback, Boynton Beach, Florida. My name is James Jones. I play fullback from Pompano Beach, Florida. Brought Lang, Miami, Florida, wide receiver. This is Jackson, wide receiver, Dover Beach, Florida. First and ten for the Gators, and they start off on the ground with James Jones, 6'3, 236. Danny Plunk, I'm an offensive tackle from Red Island, Florida. Ron Frazier, left guard, McClinney, Florida. Phil Bromley, center, Pensacola, Florida. Buddy Schulteis, offensive guard, Naples, Florida. My name is Dan Fike, I'm an offensive tackle from Pensacola, Florida. Mike Malarkey, tight end from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Handoff going to B. Lang, number two, coming around from a wide receiver position on the reverse, and he's tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. It the West Virginia defensive line. They play that front three, or in the colleges, I guess they call it a 5-2. 5-2, basically like a 3-4 defense. Third down. Florida Gators need nine for the first down. Ball is at their 28-yard line. One back. And there's James Jones, and here's Wayne Peace. First pass of the day. Protection is excellent. Now he's flushed out of the pocket. Still looking downfield. He's going to have to eat the football. Driven out of bounds, well short of the first down. They have earned a right to come on this trip, and they're all playing. Joe Borakavich with the kick. The receiver slipped and went down. Oliver Luck, quarterback, University Heights, Ohio. Mickey Walzak, tailback, Saratoga Springs, New York. Hi, Dad. Dan Conwell, fullback, Burlington South Point, Ohio. Gary Mullen, wide receiver, Claire and PA, how mom? Wayne Brown, split in, Somerville, New Jersey. Here come the Mountaineers in white, first offensive play of the day. First and ten from their 23-yard line. Lights already on here at the Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. And Oliver Luck back to throw on the very first play from scrimmage, hitting Billy Evans. And Evans is stacked up behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of three in the play back to the 21. Frank Kinzel, Solon, Ohio, offensive tackle. Andre Gibbs, offensive guard, Oxford Hill, Maryland. Dave Johnson, center, Penn Hills, Pennsylvania. Hi, Dad. Mike Durrett, offensive guard, Charlottesville, Virginia. Keith Jones, offensive tackle, Charleston, West Virginia. Mark Rout, tight end, Rome Spring, Pennsylvania. Straight handoff up the middle to Dane Conwell, the fullback for short yardage that set the defense for you. For the Florida Gators, they also play that three-man front. And watch out for number 85, Dave Galloway. He is a good one. He's a big one and one of the real pro prospects in this football game. Linebackers. Four fine linebackers and the deep backs. Two of their defensive starters are seniors. The rest underclassmen, all of the offensive starters are underclassmen as Luck breaks out for the first down to the 35-yard line. For Luck on the quarterback draw, they have not done very much of that. It was offside. Doing a great job in just his second year. First and ten. Luck back to throw it. Little swing pass out to Walzak. And Walzak breaks a couple tackles, gets beyond the 40 to the 43-yard line. Nick, I'd say that's pretty smart. 3.96, great average. And off goes to... The fullback, Dane Conwell, both short of the first down, third down, less than a yard. First down as Conwell plows up the middle to midfield. He's been bothered a great deal by injuries. 61% of the time, West Virginia puts the football in the air. 
Oliver Luck. Good protection over the middle to Mark Rao, the tight end. And Rao of the Florida Gators. Luck calling the signals. Walzak in motion. Luck going downfield and has Holland at the 35-yard line. He was a finalist. He is now four out of four in the passing department. Second down, first and five. First and five, and Luck deep back into the pocket, sets up the screen. Walzak inside the 20, flips out of bounds near the 15-yard line. Collins and Evans, the wide receivers, up at the top of your screen. First down. Conwell driving down to near the five. First down. Second, Second down. Second and two Second from and the seven-yard line. West Virginia threatening. Oliver Luck back to throw. Gets rid of it. Touchdown. Fine catch by Walzak, number 42, and the Mountaineers are on the scoreboard. Jody McCown, the putter, is the holder. The kick is good. Seven minutes, 52 seconds left to play in the opening period. Here at Atlanta, Fulton County Stadium, West Virginia, leading Florida 7 to nothing. The men from Morgantown leading 7 0. Curry is deep. Ivory Curry fumbles it at the three. Back to the 15 yard line and dives forward to around the 20. First down, Florida with the football at their 18 yard line. Wayne Peace is the quarterback as they go with one running back, Jones. Peace back to throw it, goes out to Spencer Jackson. And the wide receiver is bounced out of bounds after a pickup of two or three yards. Second down, seven. Gators with the ball just beyond their own 20 yard line. West Virginia faking the blitz. Pressure on Peace as the pass is batted up into the air. They are 6-6 six and six in bowl action. Third down, seven. Wayne Peace on the roll left has good protection. This one is kicked off. Lynn Murray. And the Mountaineers will have a first down at the end of the ball. Nose of the ball just beyond the 15. Oliver Luck wants to get six in a hurry. Walzak, the intended receiver, at the 15-yard line. That is Oliver Luck's first misfire of the day. Pass actually could have been caught. But he's now six out of seven. Again, back to throw it. Heavy traffic, and this one is picked off. Number 24, Kyle Knight for Florida. Florida Gators from their 14-yard line. They've been bottled up deep in their own end of the field. Little over seven minutes left to play in the first period. Steve Miller, the tailback, gets it out to about the 18-yard line. Pick up a fort. Second down, five. Florida from its 19-yard line. Trying to get something going here. Again, Miller. Mississippi State, the only team that really handled it well. Beat him 28 to 7. Third and four. Peace unloads. Spencer Jackson at the sideline. Has enough for the first down. At the 27-yard line. Points, and he'll do that all day. First and ten for the Gators from their 28-yard line. Pitch goes to the tailback. Miller. Across the 30, out to the 33-yard line. 62 and 38 percent. West Virginia, 61 and 39 percent. Second and four from the 34. Brown, John L. Brown. Of course, you'll forget it six months from now that he told us that, I'm sure, as the season approaches. On first and ten, James Jones, hard-running fullback to the 45-yard line. It'll be second and three for the Gators. There he is again, back at deep. their 45-yard line. Yeah, he's a good six, seven yards back from the line of scrimmage. So they're giving him a little room, giving him the football, and see if he can pick the holes. I would think would be the top four, though not necessarily in that order. Third down in less than a yard. They give it to Jones. And he dives over the middle. And should have it up. Needed just about a foot and a half. First and ten. Chris Faulkner, number 80, there's one of the blocking backs. Gators at their own 48-yard line. Nice fake this time by Keith, who slips. Almost goes down, gets rid of the pass. And 
completes it. They haven't quite been able to pull it out. And I'm sure the Georgia people would be happy if they never see Wayne Peace again. Same goes true on the opposite side for Herschel Walker. James Jones on the carry. Down to the 38-yard line. Second down, seven. Gators with the football at the Mountaineer 38. Peace loses the football, can't find it, and West Virginia recovers. The Mountaineers, number 91, Todd Campbell, comes up with the ball. Second turnover for the Mountaineers as they recover on their 48-yard line. Oliver Luck handing up off the middle. Number 32, Dane Conwell. Second down, let's call it five for the first down with the ball at the 47-yard line. Luck with a nice fake, rolling out to his right. Going to keep it. Dives forward for the first down at the 42-yard line. Games, I figure, they figure that it's uh, the peach ball. Ball sack up the middle to the 35-yard line, sliding. Second and three from the 37-yard line of the Florida Gators. West Virginia on the move. Conwell over the right side and less than a yard for the first down West Virginia from the 33 of the Florida Gators they've been opening the holes for Conwell and he'll be close for the first down at the 32 yard line so the two teams will change ends of field here at the end of one period of play at the 14th annual Peach Bowl game at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium in Atlanta Georgia Florida trailing West Virginia 7 to nothing the West Virginia Mountaineers on the move. First down at the Florida 31. Oliver Luck dropping back the throw. Swing past the Walzak and caught this time behind the line of scrimmage. Drawn at second down, 11 for the Mountaineers. Backed up to their 30, or rather to the Florida 32. Luck in trouble behind the line. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe got a yard. Third down, 10. Obviously, you look for Luck to put it in the air. He's been very successful. Seven out of nine. Protection is good. Gets the pass away. It's a play at the 15-yard line. The field goal attempt will be from 49 yards away on a wet field by Paul Woodside. And his longest, as you can see, is 33. So this is 16 yards beyond his longest. High snap. It's up. It's a little short. Just under the crossbar. He was straight on, but not quite enough leg. First and 10, Florida. Gators at their 32-yard line. Trying to get a drive going. Wayne Peace with a handoff to Miller. Now to drop the tackle behind the line. He's dropped for a big loss. Back at the 23-yard line. A loss of seven at his second down 17. With the ball back at the 23-yard line. Blitz. There's the blitz. He's trying to get away from it. Throws on the rock. And the pass is incomplete at the 40-yard line. That's Miller, the tailback, in motion. Wayne Cruz again flips back at the 10-yard line. It dropped at the 8. Joe Borakavich running out of the end zone. And the kick coming up a little bit short. Taken by Reggie Armstead. And Armstead carries it back to the 33. So chances are the uh, weather may be better back home than it is here. I don't know. West Virginia with a first down. And Conwell, 25, and down to the 23. A pickup of nine is from the 23-yard line of the Florida Gators. Oliver Luck at the throttle of the West Virginia Express. Walzak. First down at the 18-yard line. Vicky Walzak, the tailback. He set records just about every year. Again, Conwell, the fullback, driving inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. But they have been successful up the middle, too. Second and six from the 14-yard line of Florida. Walzak, this time caught behind the line of scrimmage. They needed a big defensive play, and, and he's turned into a great linebacker. On third and ten, Luck. Pass intended for Wayne Brown. Here's Woodside. On to try a 35-yard field goal attempt. McCown puts it down. The kick is long enough. It is good. Oh, Woodside nails it from 35 yards away. 10-0.
9.38 left in the first half. West Virginia leading by a score of 10 to nothing. Curry fields this one at the 8. Back to the 15, 20, 25, 30. Curry stopped just short of the 40-yard line. Good job. Pittsburgh and Penn State, two of the losses. I'd say they're pretty good. And the other to Syracuse. First and 10, Florida with the football at its 38-yard line. Wayne P. sideline throw. Spencer Jackson pulls it down at the 45-yard line. Pretty good use of the left hand there by Spencer Jackson. Second down, long three for the first down. They go up the middle to Steve Miller, the tailback. He gets the first down, spinning out of the tackle there. Wayne Peace. From the 49, they go with the reverse to Jackson. Jackson to the 50-yard line, and when all is said and done, he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. Peace on the delay. Handing off to Lorenzo Hampton. Trying to loosen up the West Virginia defense. Flag down as the pass flung out of the far side to Howard Akers. Situation and it would be we have kind of foolish to, uh, Florida. to not remain punt. the same third. Young man with the headset there is Lee Griff. He coaches the wide receivers. Third down at about 25 for the first down. Peace. Fires it downfield, completes it to Akers, but still way short of the yardage needed for the first down. 32 yards the first time, 34 the second. Drury is deep. Willie Drury signaling for the fair catch, lets it sail over his head, and the Gators will down it inside the five-yard line, right on the five. A West Virginia quarterback, it hasn't happened so far. He's seven out of 11. West Virginia sticking to the ground game is again Conwell to about the 10 for a pickup of three. It'll be third down five. Third down, a little less than five for the first down. And they stick on the ground and they're gonna have to punt. Curlin Beck, number 20. It's not a real high putter. the 50-yard line. Ivory Curry run out of bounds. He's sending Spencer Jackson wide to the left side. He's got B. Lang split to the right. Miller. But you know that he's not going to carry the ball. At least I don't think he is. Second and eight from the 20-yard line. Less than four minutes remaining in the first half. By number 35 of West Virginia. The base is five out of eight to 39 yards. The sophomore scrambling and nailed for the loss by Dennis Polk, number 50. And Clark is the field goal kicker. This will be a 50-yard attempt. He is a great professional prospect. In fact, Charlie Pell says he is the first kicker he has ever seen who is a team leader. Bad snap. Clark comes up with it and just throws the ball into the middle of the line. West Virginia will take over at the 38-yard line. You saw number five, Jim Ganey, try to pull down. The Mountaineers are really playing some football. First down at their 40-yard line. Oliver Luck. Carolyn Beck going outside. Second down, less than a yard for the first down. Luck handing off to Beck. 45-40 and down to the 38-yard line of the Florida Gators. One minute and 40 seconds left to play in the first half. See what kind of a job Luck does in guiding the Mountaineers down the field for another score. Sticking on the ground right now. But Watch out. Second and 10, Luck on the quarterback draw. Down to the 30, really took a shot and drives forward to the 26 yard line. Back to live action, Luck hitting Walzak with a swing pass behind the line of scrimmage in short yardage. Second down nine from the 25 of Florida. Luck looking for the sideline throw and fires it over the head of Gary Mullen, number one, the freshman, to stay with us. Third down eight. Virginia from the Florida 25. Luck with the fake into the middle. 
Oliver Luck going long deep into the end zone intended for Rich Hollins. Ball will be spotted at the 32, so this will be a 42-yard effort. And this would be his longest of the year if he makes it. Flag is down. The kick is long enough. It is good. However, there's a penalty marker down in the field. To see if they could change the side. Florida. Decline. Field goal count. That was good by Oliver Luck. He wanted to make sure of the situation before he uh, declined the penalty. So it is 13-0. Had they taken the penalty, they still wouldn't have had the first down. Ivory Curry is deep. Woodside kicking off high. And Curry fields it at the 8. Back to the 20. And down at the 27-yard line, we got a loose ball. And the Mountaineers have recovered it. Curry fumbling. First down from the Florida 28. Oliver Luck going for 6 intended for number 19. Second down, 10. Penalty markers down. Luck off the fingertips of his tight end. And the down situation is not that important. West Virginia. It's the field goal situation. Second down. He'd like a delay with the back over the middle would be good. Could be. They're paying too much attention to him. Luck. Good rush this time by the Gators. Gets it away. Intended for number three, Billy Evans. Like this is going to be a 50-yard effort. He's two out of three. Hitting from 35 and 42 yards. This one. Oh, it's going to be close. Yes, he made it. It just got over the crossbar from 50 yards out. And Whitside is being bombed. Football for Woodside. The three longest kicks of his career for distance. Up the middle it comes. Picked up by Scott Marshall. Fumbled. Time has run out. West Virginia recovers the fumble, but the clock has run out. Here in the first half, as the Mountaineers, Reggie Armstead, number 24 up with the ball. A great first half of football for West Virginia as they lay Florida 16 to nothing and their fans are going mad. They love it. This young man has not missed an extra point in his entire Southeast Conference career. 62 straight extra points. Brian Clark. This one goes into and out of the end zone. First and 10. West Virginia with the football from their 20. Mark Rao. The receiver latching onto that pass from Oliver Luck. I think perhaps he's turned things around here in the second half for his Gators. On second and six, Conwell has another first down as West Virginia continues to grind it out. First and ten for the Mountaineers, who lead it 16 to nothing. Flagged down as it looked like Florida jumped offside. Walzak on the carry over the... It looked like David Galloway may have jumped off. Just poured down. Started the middle of the night, finally stopped about... Two hours before kickoff. First and five. West Virginia from the 35. Good job that time of the Florida defense. Second and five. Luck. Wide open is Walzak at the 40, 45, 50. Walzak hurdles the tackler and is inside the 35-yard line. Play in the first down for the Mountaineers at the Florida Gators. 32-yard line. Evans in motion across the backfield. Luck handing off. And Colin Becker. Don't forget the mic, Vance. In motion. West Virginia. <laughs> first down. Mountaineers from their 30 or the 37-yard line of Florida. Conwell, the fullback, takes it down to about the 31. We're, they're making that go a little bit. Second and 10 from the 32-yard line of Florida. Oliver Luck, pressure. Breaking through was Roy Harris. Boy, you find him everywhere, don't you? Third down. And long. And Conwell is in at the line of scrimmage. Little defense. McCown to do the kicking. Ivory Curry with the fair catch at about the 12-yard line. And they've done a great job so far holding Florida in check. 
fourth and ten. Gators trying to get it going here in the second half, trailing 16 to nothing. John L. Brown, the tailback, after the 14th pickup. Lynn, of course, had a safety in the, or rather, an interception in the first half. Second down, eight. Gators from their 14 yard line. A lot of movement behind the line of scrimmage, but no flag. Peace just did get it out to Spencer Jackson, and that came so close. Gators on their 23, and they need to get something going offensively. First to 10. John L. Brown, a yard, maybe two. Miller in the backfield now, along with James Jones on second down 10. West Virginia has the number three pass defense in the nation coming in. Peace. Back, back at the six yard line. Great job by Cedric King. Third down, 25. Miller, the tailback, gets a couple, maybe three, out to around the 10. Back to do the kick. Drury and Armstead are the defense. Armstead with a fair catch signal. Billy Evans is split to the left. They've had success on the ground, so why not keep it up? Conwell over the right side. <laughs> you do figure out to turn a bad situation or how to turn a bad situation into a good one. Second and six. Guy with the dirtiest jersey on the field has got to be Conwell, the fullback. Allowing an average of 256 yards per game total. Third down, make it three for the first down. From the 36, Ali Luck. He's an opening. Throws it cross field and roll back. 30, and down to the 25. First down, West Virginia. A great heads-up ad-lib play. Back to live action. First down from the 26-yard line. West Virginia continuing to grind it out. Curlin Beck, number 20. Five minutes left to play in the third period. West Virginia leading. 16 to nothing. Evans in motion across the backfield. Beck may have another first down. He's right at the 15-yard line. Beck in motion this time, and they give it to the fullback, Conwell. Around the 13-yard line. Pick up of two, maybe three yards. Second and eight. Luck. Hitting Hollins inside the 10. Rich Hollins, the wide receiver, making the grab at the 8-yard line. The West Virginia Mountaineers driving for another score. Third and three from the Florida 7-yard line. Oliver Luck on the rollout. Overthrowing the intended receiver. He's already set a record for 49 yards. This will be a chip shot, 24 yards out. He's at the left hash mark. So it is somewhat of an angle. He drills it through. That young man has to be a strong contender for MVP in this game. Four field goals and five tries. Time out. We'll be back in just a moment. Freshman walk-on. Paul Woodside, one of the heroes of this game. Hampton has replaced Curry as the deep man. Lorenzo Hampton fumbles it at the one. Brings it out to the 10. 20. And stopped at the 27-yard line. And 10 from the 27 yard line. Base has not been able to get the offense going. And Florida trailing 19 to nothing. One back, and that's Jones. Peace. Incomplete. The peace ball I've ever had, and I'd like to thank the Waycross Lions coach for sponsoring me. All right, congratulations to you. <laughs> Gone from bad to worse for Florida. Or a cabbage. Running away, kick is high and a little bit short. Fair catch is signaled by Armstead at the 41-yard line. A first and 10 from the 41-yard line. Mountaineers' defense is just completely dominating Florida's offense. Walzak, who twisted his ankle earlier, right back in the game, picked up five. I hate to keep repeating it, but that was the five yards right there. That's why. On second and five, they stay on the ground. Again, Walzak for the first down. Into Florida territory, dragging tacklers with him down to the 42. On the move at the 43-yard line of the Florida Gators. Walsack this time in motion, and Conwell gets the call. Inside the 40 to the 39. Second and seven. Ball is at the Gator 40-yard line. Luck, little swing pass out to Walsack. 
Nice cutback to about the 34. On third down, needing one for the first down, Walzak head down as the first at the 30-yard line. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. West Virginia 19, Florida nothing. We'll be back with the start of the fourth period. After this word from your local station, look at that time of possession. They've doubled Florida's possession time. Collins in motion. Interesting story. The offside against Florida. First and five. West Virginia now at the 24-yard line of Florida. Again, Mullins in motion. They go straight up the middle. Walzak diving for the first down to the 16. Collins to the left side. Brown to the right. And they go with the fullback, Conwell, up the middle to the 13-yard line. Slot formation to the right side on second down seven from the 13-yard line. Walzak around left end. He will be stopped just short of the goal line. First and goal at the two from the three-yard line. Conwell gets a yard to the two. The other way a little bit. Second and goal from the two-yard line. Conwell to about the one. Oliver Luck, the West Virginia quarterback. Collins in motion. Conwell, touchdown. Walzak off the option. There's another surprise play. And Oliver Luck runs an option play, but she has not done too much. Pitched out to Walzak, and it was a touchdown into the corner of the end zone. McCowan on the hold, and the kick is good. So Woodside tacks on another extra point. And personal foul. Florida roughing the kicker. Penalty assessed on the kickoff. To do for Walzak, who has rushed for 42 yards and caught eight passes for 75. Here set a peach bowl record. Kicked the three longest field goals of his career today. And four out of five. Lorenzo Hampton gets an A-plus for today's action. Absolutely. First and ten. Florida Gators from their 20-yard line. Florida sticking with Wayne Peace at the quarterback position. Jones out to the 23. Fumble. Peace fell on it behind the line of scrimmage at the 20. 37,582 in attendance. They sold over 50,000 tickets. They're right in the area. A lot of folks, because the bad weather, decided to sit this one out. Peace going long, intended for Jackson, and it's picked off. Intercepted by Jim Agee, number 44. Back in at the tailback position, Conwell at the fullback. Conwell about the 40-yard line. The regular season ended a long time ago. Second down nine. Luck on the quarterback draw. He's had luck with it today. This time, however, run out of bounds in front of the Florida bench. Third down six. Oliver Luck. Fine catch at the 50-yard line. Doing a good job of protecting the ball as Mike and Team All-American. Jody McCown to do the putting. Ivory Curry chasing this one. Fields it at the 20-yard line. Surrounded by white shirts. No place to go. Earlier in the year with Wayne Peace. Got hurt about the fourth or fifth game. And sat out most of the rest of the season as Peace did a fine job. Left-hander. And spots a receiver over the middle. It's covered. Pick up of nine, it is second down one as they come to the near side. Again, going to the wide receiver, Lang breaks loose and gets to midfield for the first down. First and ten for the Gators from midfield. Intended for Akers. Second and ten from the 50-yard line. Yuko caught behind the line of scrimmage. Big sack. It is third down, 10. Gators from the 50-yard line. Blitz. Yuko looking for Lang downfield, but he'll never get it away. LSU, Mississippi State, and Miami at home. Not alternate years, they have them on the road, so they're going to be awfully tough.
seven of their first eight games are at home. They're getting whipped today by West Virginia. But you know Charlie Pell will have them coming back strong next year. One of the top favorites, as you pointed out already. Back to you. Live sports action on CBS. First and ten, Mountaineers from their 13. Luck with a fumble, taking the snap back from his center. Outside of that, 15 points is the lowest point total on the year. Oliver Luck looking downfield, being chased. And run out of bounds at about the seven-yard line. Third down, 15. West Virginia Mountaineers backed up to their five-yard line. Conwell breaks it out to about the 20-yard line, short of the first down. Under five minutes left to play. Line drive kick. This will be run back by Curry from the 40 to the 45. To midfield to the 45. And Curry dragging tackling. Jones on the carry. Inside the 35. So this will be the first one. Final game of the year. What a great performance by the Mountaineers defense. Second down six. Again Jones. And the big pullback is smothered after picking up a yard or Third down, seven. The lefty, Bob Yuko, looking for a receiver, going long for Jackson. Oh, had it and dropped it in the end zone. Spencer Jackson right up and over the shoulder. And you're going to see it hit him right there. He should have had it. Not an easy catch, but Spencer Jackson knows that he should have caught the ball. Yuko blowing on those fingers, trying to warm him up. Temperature has dropped to about 35, I would imagine. That'll keep the drive going, the pass over the middle. Yuko trying to put some points on the board. He's got a man open in the end zone. Touchdown! Chris Faulkner, number 80, the tight end, makes the catch, and the Gators finally get on the scoreboard. They'll go for two on the extra point try. Yuko looking for a receiver. Akers did not get across. Howard Akers, they say, was stopped short of the goal line. Position just bended out to the sidelines. And let's see if that ball got over. We got a flag down anyway. Ooh, it looked like it was in to me. Number three. We had two penalties on West Virginia. One was for 12 men on the field. The penalty should be the same. We'll try over. Extra point try coming up again for the... Florida Gators. Pass is intended for Spencer Jackson and Newberry. And Florida will be kicking off with three minutes and three seconds left to play in the football game. With the Florida Gators, truly one of the outstanding place kickers. It was touched offside. Free football. And coming up with it was Willie Drury, number 48 for West Virginia. Charlie doesn't want another quarter quarterback controversy to start the new year, that's for sure. West Virginia going to put it on the ground. Four fumbles lost in the first half. Second and nine. That's Beck. The second string tailback driving out for another first down. That's really, I think, a good trick for the schools to take everybody along. West Virginia between 200 and 250 yards on the ground against Florida. Second and eight. That will not happen today. Drury in motion. Give us to Beck, the tailback. And on defense, number 35, Don Stemple, the defensive back from West Virginia. Third and 15. And it would appear that Oliver Luck down a very high-powered Florida attack. A count in to do the putting. Ivory Curry watches this one bounce. Takes a floor to hop and is down at the 34-yard line. Last play of the game. Bob Huco is going to do just that. A bullet down the middle. But that's it. As the pass is completed to Mike Malarkey, number 82. The tight end and Bob Nealon, or Don Nealon, I should say. Gets a ride off the field from his West Virginia team. What a job they did preparing to play Florida. They were an underdog in this football game, and they completely dominated the contest.